Okay. Let's talk about it. I need to express myself right now. Um, it's just been so crazy. I don't understand why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I miss out. Maybe I'm just late to the party. I am kind of I am kind of slow sometimes. So maybe I haven't done enough research. But I'm going to base this conversation off of the conversations and experiences that I've had physically with other people like let's take out doing research or whatever let's just talk about how this isn't a normal conversation and I feel like it should be um I'm talking about the realness of PMS y'all I know that like, some of y'all are probably like oh been there done that or whatever but let me tell you I'm super late to the party right now I don't know why I'm so late to the party because this has been something that I've been dealing with all of my life I'm just now realizing that it's actually PMS um so let me let me explain to y'all where my head is at on this whole situation so i've heard people tell me like it's something wrong with you when you about to be on your period right and to me i'm thinking like whatever like i'm just not in the mood like you know like i just need a few days i've been around people too much let me just go ahead and have some alone time like i never really dig too deep into it um, and I'm gonna tell you about a time when I was in school like in college when I was going to BG I had an advisor that was not only my advisor, but I was also her Administrative assistant. So I saw her every single day on a regular basis and one time I walked into her Office space and she was like um, She was like Chris what's something wrong with you and I was like I'm like what she was like you about to be on your period and I'm like I am about to be on my period. How do you know that? And why is everybody saying that to me? And she's like, because your attitude, your whole entire energy, everything about you is just mad. It's just different. Like, it's it's like, it's intense and I don't even want to be around you. And I'm like, sheesh. Mind you, this was back in like 2010, maybe 2009, something like that. So I'm just like, whatever, like obviously i didn't have a husband no kids no nothing even my family wasn't around because i was in bowling green and they were in cleveland so it was real easy for me to isolate myself like okay i got a bad attitude i gotta come to work let me do my little hours and then when i'm done i'll go take a nap do what i gotta do to just be by myself and relax and that's just all i took it for i never really dug deeper than that but here we are today and I'm telling you this thing has been so real for me like these past few months I've been tracking myself recording information like I've really been trying to dig deeper into this thing because I'm like so before I made a few videos talking about my mood swings my energy levels like I've always mentioned it and still in that I wasn't really aware of what was happening to me and so now okay how can I I'm trying to put this right so now I'm in a space where I feel like I really am put my finger on this thing just because I've been tracking my period so closely lately um with the advice of my doctor and everything else like that I made a video about mental health issues I made a doctor's appointment I was on Zoloft it was too strong they took me off or whatever and I thought it was postpartum depression I'm just like basically just you know keeping up with myself like what's going on with me okay boom she told me crystal you need to track your period and i wasn't tracking my period i never did it was regular whatever when i was when it was late i knew i was pregnant stuff like that like so i never really tracked my period because it was always a regular period um so anyway so now that over these few months i've been tracking my period and i'm off of the zoloft so i'm on no medications right now i'm like realizing that a couple of weeks before my period is when my mood swings my demeanor my energy and my temper completely changes it's like i'm a completely totally different person like i'm just i don't know how to describe it like 
I'm just, I'm not pleasant for myself. Like, I don't want to deal with myself. Like, that's how bad my mood swings are and my energy levels are. Like, I'm just disappointed in myself. Like, oh, I can't wait for this to be over. Like, what's going on? Like, how is this not, how have I not noticed this before, right? So, I'm like, if this thing, if this has always been a thing for me and everybody else has noticed it but me, why am I just now realizing how severe this thing is or whatever? Okay, so boom. I hope I'm making sense. I know I talk kind of fast. But the biggest issue for me, like the biggest reason why I'm I'm really like pointing this thing out is because I have a family now. Like because I'm in a space where I can't find that separation, I can't isolate myself ever. Like I'm always needed from different areas and aspects of my life. If I'm not needed as a wife or I'm not needed as a mother, like I'm always needed. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm not getting that alone time and that separation time from the world where I could just you know, be in my feelings, sleep life, you know, sleep my days away, put heating pads on, pop a couple of leaves. Like, I'm not getting that anymore. And so now I'm just like, I'm spassing out. I'm like overreacting. I'm just, I'm just a hot mess, right? So I'm just like, my PMS is really, really, really bad. And everybody has known this about me but me. And I feel so late to the party. Like, I just, I cannot believe that this whole thing has went over my head, like, for so long. I, I literally have been having really bad PMS since I was a kid. And I just, not a kid, but ever since I started. And I want to say I started really noticing things around 14, 15 years old. So, so anyway, I just am... Um, really realizing that I have really severe PMS and I can't find an escape route I can't I can't I don't know I can't find a peace of mind I can't find isolation I can't find a long time like I just am overwhelmed and PMS is just making my life H-E double hockey sticks um so I've made another appointment with my doctor because even though the Zoloft was way too strong, um, I need something to help me subside my my symptoms of PMS. And let me add this, like, I've noticed, like, you know, obviously we all make jokes about, oh, you about to be on your period, your attitude suck because you about to be on your period or whatever. But it's like, no, like, that's real. Like, it's like. PMS is a very serious thing and a lot of men like to be like oh you need to control yourself you need to watch your attitude you need to do this that and the third and I understand that nobody deserves to be lashed out at or you know yelled at or whatever but like it's honestly a, a issue that is uncontrollable like I, I don't want to be upset. I don't want to be irritated or anxious or aggravated or emotional. Like, do you really honestly think I want to sit here and feel like this and cry and complain? Because I don't. Like, I want to be productive. I want to be proactive. I want to get things done. Like, so really for me, what makes my PMS so, 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 so extreme is that I feel like I can't do anything about it. And that causes me to feel very depressed, very heavy, and um, just defeated. And that feeling occurs for two weeks out of the month. We get four weeks in a month. So for two weeks out of the month, I feel like I'm unable to do anything. Like, I can't, I can't keep going forward like this. Like, I can't function like this. I need to find a healthy balance in between those symptoms and still getting things done. Because in those two weeks, I'm completely, in my word, in my own opinion, worthless. Like, I feel absolutely worthless because I can't control whatever is, is taking place in my body, mentally, physically, whatever. I made a doctor's appointment for September 30th because I need to figure out how to get through this thing right so i've been having conversations with my family members my cousins my aunts like whoever any any woman that's available like has this happened to you are you feeling like this am i the only one am i tripping like why is the world not talking about how serious pms is because this thing is real um so believe it or not I have a lot of cousins that actually experience the same things that I've experienced, but nobody is talking about it. I'm like, bro, we need to talk about this. This is a very serious thing. Like, I'll be ready to, like, snap as far as, like, just 
freaking out and just yelling and screaming and crying and just having complete mental breakdowns because I feel like I'm completely alone in this feeling. Like, I feel so isolated in my own feelings because I feel like nobody else is going through this. And they are going through this. Like, it's just, it's crazy. So, before I go into what I've, some of the information that I've received from my family members, I want to talk about how... I've been tracking my period and what my major symptoms are when I PMS. There are two set of symptoms. I have physical symptoms and I have emotional symptoms. So my physical symptoms of PMS is extreme water retention and bloating and swelling. As I don't know if it's all the same thing. We're just going to put it all in the same pot. I have extreme bloating in my stomach i'm talking about stretched completely out like i just feel like i'm two or three months pregnant i can't fit my pants everything is leggings and then half the time i don't even want to wear leggings because i don't want nothing to touch my stomach i don't want nothing to feel like it's grabbing me tight because i'm just so uncomfortable um i get really bad headaches really bad headaches when i'm about to be on my period um I'm tired all the time. I'm tired to the point where I just feel like I'm just moping around. I don't have no energy to do anything. I just want to lay around. That's it. I don't want to do nothing for nobody. I just want to lay around. Um, extreme sleepiness. I feel like, especially, and I'm so good at this now. My PMS starts on the 20th of every month right i've been tracking this for about three months now so my pms starts around the 20th of every month two days before no 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 let me think i'm trying to think i made notes so i'm reading hold on no the day before my period i fall asleep the whole entire day and that night before i'm sleep like super duper heavy oh, like so i was my saying my camera cut off so let me catch myself up again another physical side effect that I have to my PMS is a really bad face acne I get uh, a lot of breakouts along my chin and on my cheeks usually it's more so on this side of my face like this side of my face breaks out really really bad I have a lot of acne scars on the side of my face this face every now and then yeah it's like I do but not really not really at all actually I can kind of almost guarantee that the pimples is going to pop up on this side of my face along my jawline and anywhere along my chin line like it's just crazy so let's talk about the emotional side it's like for one okay so if I had to outweigh I feel like the emotional side effects are way more extreme than the physical side effects but I feel like they kind of play hand in hand because with the water um, retention and the, the swelling and the bloating, I feel low key depressed because I can't fit anything. Like, that, the last thing you want to do is feel like you just, I mean, for me anyway, I'm talking from my, from my, my own perspective. The last thing I want to feel like is that I've gained like 10 pounds. Like, I, I don't like that feeling. It don't feel good or comfortable and it's mad depressing. Um, so that kind of plays into the emotional side effects. Um, which are for me extreme mood swings. Extreme mood swings. Now, again, I've also um, documented and tracked this to the T. So my period, my 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 symptoms of my PMS side. Uh, oh my gosh. So my PMS side effects start the twentieth of every month, basically around the twentieth, twenty first, pretty much the twentieth on the dime. Two days before that, so around the 18th and 19th, I know that I'm going to experience extreme happiness, goofiness, and feeling motivated. I don't know what that is. I plan on asking my doctor. Um, thumbs up this video if you care to know or go with me to my doctor's appointment like I did in my uh, mental health video. Just let me know. It, you know, just, just if you care. Just in case you care. Um... But I feel very happy. I'm laughing. I'm clowning. I'm dancing. I'm goofing around. Having a good old time. I'm feeling motivated like I could conquer the world. I'm oftentimes adding more tasks to my plate because I feel so motivated in those moments. 
um, which I know now is false. Like, I don't know what that is and why that happens, but I've tracked it so good. When I'm feeling like that, I know that that's not real. Like, I know those emotions are not real. That's not really how I'm feeling. It's just something going on within my body. Another uh, emotional side effect that I have is just, let me see. The day of my period is when I get very sad. I feel heaviness. Like, my emotions are literally sitting on my shoulders. Like, I just get real, like, literally, I feel like my body is physically drooping over. My head is hanging low. And I'm just moping around. Again, just feeling very heavy. Um, and a sense of depression. Like, so, two days before, I'm very happy, goofy, motivated. The day of, I'm very, very heavy and depressed. It's extreme. It's an extreme fluctuation of um, of moods. Like it's just it's uncontrollable. It's like the weirdest thing. I feel like um, two different people. Like two different crystals is out now. Like it's it's really honestly kind of scary to me. Um, and then I'm on top of feeling depressed and those heavy emotions or whatever. I cry non-stop it don't matter what it is who it is what it's about i'm about to sit there and cry the whole time i'm pmsing i'm talking about snot boogers whatever and oftentimes i go back in my memory bank and remember something that makes me really sad and i don't like that neither because i feel like i'm bringing up old stuff and i'm bringing up um, the past and I'm really trying to make way like I'm trying to make progress I'm trying to move ahead and I don't want to live in the past but when I'm in PMSing and I'm living in in those moments of emotions I always go back and I'm always thinking about something that made me really sad or hurt me really bad um, and it's often traumatic events um one that I I, I have a, I have a few traumatic experiences that I go back on, but the number one thing that I always relive in my head is the day that my grandfather passed away. I don't know what that is, but I always see his face. I always re relive that that those days and times up until he took his last breath, and I just can't stop crying about it. Like I'm just constantly. And my feelings about that when I'm PMSing and my grandfather passed away in either, I think it was 2013. He passed away in 2013. It's 2020. And I could still feel that moment, feel that pain and relive those emotions when I'm PMSing like it happened yesterday. Like it happened five hours ago. Like it's, it's the craziest thing ever. Um, so... <laughs> I put down here. I do a lot of yelling and crying at everybody. Like I don't have. It don't matter who it is. Yes, it does. It does matter. I have some people that I know I can't do that with. Why? And I, and most of the times I won't even go around those people because I know I can't control myself. But the only people that I know is just like never gonna get that side are babies because I love babies and they're so sweet and innocent. So <laughs> not everybody gets my wrath, you know. But it's just like for the most part, I can't control it and. Babies are just beautiful and sweet, and so it usually helps me feel better to see babies, actually. Even though I don't want no more babies. Mm -mm. Um, my Another emotional thing. I don't know if this will fall on the side of emotional or physical, but my cravings are extremely intense. I go from wanting something really, really sweet, which is usually chocolate. And then I go from wanting something really, really salty, which is usually um, french fries. Something that I could just put a whole bunch of salt on. French fries. Um... Comment below if you experience this or you know what's going on because I definitely don't. Again, I'm going to ask my doctor because this is complete craziness. And then when all of this is said and done, right? So I've been out of commission for two weeks. I ain't had no control over myself or my emotions. Um, now I feel guilty because I got where I have, I got, I have, I got whatever tomato tomato i have a lot of things that i need to do and in those two weeks i'm usually doing nothing because i don't feel like it like no matter how much i know that it needs to be done or how urgent it is out of 10, i'm not doing it unless i absolutely have to do it like if i'm if i got a paper i gotta turn in or whatever and i'm glad that part is over with. so i'm done with that part of school so far you know i'm done with that part of school but like if Something like that was to happen, like, oh, you got to turn this paper in by midnight. I'm up here 
grinding to get it done because I waited last minute because I didn't want to do it in the first place. But in those situations, I do, I'll, I'll make sure it gets done. But like, honey, listen, let me tell you, this has just been really crazy for me. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just been real crazy. Um, so my guilt of just feeling like a failure for two weeks is real. And it feels like I have to constantly restart myself. So my biggest issue, with, which I'm going to highlight to my doctor, is after all of that is said and done, I have to restart, I feel like, my whole entire body in existence after PMS. And that can't be normal. I, I just, I refuse to believe that that's normal. I refuse to believe that that's something that I should just know how to manage because I can't. I've tried to manage it. I've tried to, um, you know find different outlets and ways to relieve my stress and anxiety and things like that and my camera keeps turning off okay so let me finish hurry up and finish okay so like i said a million times i've tried to manage i tried to do it on my own i can't i need help send help um <laughs> no but Okay, so on a serious note, I told you I talked to my cousins, a lot of people experience it, blah, 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 blah. I'm asking, like, what are y'all doing? Because I don't want to be, um, I don't want to use drugs or anything like that. And let me tell you, if I had to be honest, if I had to be transparent, that feels like a realistic option to me. Like, let me just buy some 1800 some Patron, a little something, something on this. Like, it just feels like, okay, maybe this is why people smoke. Because this is this, and this is how they, it makes them feel, and they can't manage. Maybe this is why people drink wine so much, because they can't manage or whatever. And if I had to be honest with you, I can't see myself being that person, because I can't. Like, I've, I, I have my days when I was in college, and I turned up, and it just doesn't sit well for me. So I know that that's not an option for me. But I'm starting to see, like, okay, it's this, you know, managing your emotions and tasks and daily tasks can be very overwhelming. So, what, what what options do I have if I don't want to go to... Because say my doctor gives me another prescription medication and I don't like it. Then what? What, what am I going to do? So, I have a cousin that loves me so much. That I love so much back. You know who you are. Keisha. Hi, boo. Um, so, I've talked to my cousin who is very open and honest with me. Which is what we need. We need a community, a village of people that's willing to be open and honest. Because a lot of us suffer through the same things and we need those people to talk to to see what helps and what doesn't help um my cousin shares a lot of my symptoms anxiety being one of them like i feel like anxiety runs through my family very rampant i feel like anxiety is something that we just kind of tabooed under the table like you better stop being so scary and it's not about being scary it's more so like okay i really suffer from anxiety i need help anyway that's a whole nother story so we have a lot of the similar symptoms mood swings yada 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 we talking about a whole bunch of different stuff and she's like maybe you should try C cbd um c as in cat b as in boy d as in dog and i'm like hmm i don't know what that is share more information let me know i'm like is it a drug she's like no it's not a drug it's like um it's like I'm gonna just put the I'm gonna just pause this video and I'm gonna put the description because I don't want to describe it all wrong. Um, she said she heard about it through an older woman that she used to work with that had very bad pain and inflammation, and she was taking CBD and it helped her. And so she tried it, um, and it helped with her symptoms. And so she bought me a little container of gummy bears. Um, that was $25, which that's expensive for me because, you know, I'm on a budget. But, um, but, um, she just wanted me to try it to see if it helps. And honestly, it does help. Um, I still have my moments where I feel like, I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still filling it out. Let me just say that I'm still filling it out. I probably, she brought those gummies to me, like. In the midst of some PMSing, and I felt an immediate change, but I felt like it fluctuated. I was still fluctuating a lot, and I think I still want something to make me a little bit more stable. So I don't know if I need to take more gummies or if I just need something a little bit more potent than the CBD. I don't know yet. I will say that that the CBD gummy that she gave me definitely worked. I felt a change, and I'm super grateful for that and i feel like if whatever happens next with this doctor's appointment and i feel like the medication or whatever i try next which let me be honest i'm very horrified to try a new medication because the zoloft the side effects was really intense um 
that so the main thing for me was to increase appetite oh my god like i feel like i gained like 20 pounds in like three days like what like what what is that like that that's if anything that's gonna make me more depressed so i did not like that at all um my husband said it made me like too zombie-ish or whatever and i feel like i felt that but i was cool with that because at least i wasn't spazzing out so that part was i could manage that a little bit better but that constant eating oh no 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 and it's not that you all it's like not only are you always hungry but you want to stop being so hungry so you eat everything like to make you stop feeling hungry if that makes sense so not only am i hungry i feel like i'm starving so i'm gonna eat a whole bunch of pasta a whole bunch of bread a whole bunch of this everything that you're not supposed to eat because you want to stop feeling so hungry so i did not like that zola for that main reason like that that i didn't like that i gained a lot of weight in just a little bit of time so i discontinued that really quick um so i don't know what's next i'm i'm praying that i find something that can help me manage a little bit better um, because I, I do see that this is very crippling and I don't like that PMS has crippled me because it takes me out of commission for way too long if I PMS for three days I can manage three days I can even manage four days but two weeks out of the month oh no mm -mm. I can't I can't do this I don't I don't want to do this because I just it's too hard for me to manage and I got too much to do like let me know y'all what y'all think about it is this something that y'all feel like is becoming like more relevant or has it always been relevant and i'm just super duper late to the party um let me know what are y'all doing what helps what ways are y'all coping or whatever I w i'm gonna make another video about ways that i de-stress but honestly the de-stressing methods that I'm taking is only helpful when I'm I'm feeling a regular level of stress, not PMS stress. Because PMS stress and anxiety is like off the scale. It's like completely out of this universe. I can't even describe it. And I feel like only people that experience this type of PMS will really understand. It's like the craziest thing I've ever experienced. I will say... I'm just glad that I finally put my finger on what's going on with me i'm glad that my doctor told me to track my period i'm glad that i've been documenting i'm glad that i finally it's not postpartum depression even though my daughter when i thought it was postpartum depression was a year old but you know doing some research or whatever they were saying like it can vary but it's not postpartum depression this thing is very constant it's very consistent and i'm and I've literally got it down to the day. Like, to the day I know exactly when this is about to happen. And it's almost like I want to flash this red warning sign in front of my husband. Like, do not enter. Do not come past this door. Because I'm telling you, I can't control myself. I don't care what a man has to say about PMS. Y'all don't get it because you don't experience it. And it is very, it is very real. And if I give you a fair warning that i'm not in the mood and i'm not playing and i don't mm -mm, don't do it but anyway i talk too much y'all know how i am um another video coming soon um thank you for watching <laughs> like comment subscribe and share if you want um thank you again and i will see y'all really soon